got to change out the camera. These people on this side here, these, these so-called Jews, they're not the Lord's people, man. The Lord didn't sit them in that land. Uh, my way of the sun, man. The Lord, the Lord didn't sit those uh, Israelis, which are, which are the Elamites, particularly the Amalekites, okay? You got our people mixed up amongst them people, but the, those people that's over there that's ruling that place over there right now, hey, those people are the uh, the, uh, the, the uh, Elamites, man, Amalekites, man, that rule that place. Chiefly the Rothschilds, man, the house of the Rothschilds, man. They're, they're the ones that sponsored the uh, formation of Israel, uh, uh, the state of Israel, okay? So the Most High says, back in Ezekiel 37, Ezekiel 37, verse 12. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, my people, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come to come up out of your graves. So the most high, the how much you know the child, is causing us to come up out of our graves. How's he doing that? By giving us our heritage, giving us, first of all, giving us his giving us his true name again, because he took that away from us because of our continued uh, iniquities, man. Okay? Giving us our heritage back because he took that away because of our iniquities, okay? Our continued iniquities, giving us our heritage back. So he's allowing us to be put in our graves, man. Yeah, he's giving us the, the truth, the word of his, the truth, his word, through his son, Yahweh Shai, which is the word, which is the word, okay? Then he's giving us teachers because he took all these things away from us. He, he took the prophets away from us, man. Hey, man, when we was in slavery, man, we didn't have, we didn't have no prophets, man. We wasn't getting no prophets for nothing, man. Well, we was trying to yell for the Lord's name, and we lost it over time, man. Okay? We were trying to, uh, so for a long time, we was we was without a prophet, okay? But then the most high, the Abbas and I was shot. Now he's giving us the prophets back, man. He's put the prophets back in the earth, and we out here preaching to you, okay? The words of truth, man. He said, therefore, prophesy and say unto them, thus saith the Lord power, behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land, into the land of Israel, Yasha Allah, man. Because that's what the word Israel is, Yasha Allah. The word Yah, meaning he, Shar, meaning prince, Allah of his power. So Yasha Allah is prince of power, man, okay? That's what the Most High is bringing us into, man. By way of his son, Yahweh Shai. Not, his name is not Jesus, man. His name is not Jesus. His name is not Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? His name is not Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, man. Yah meaning he. Yahweh uh, Shai meaning deliverer, man. Or, yeah, deliverer, man. Or savior, man. He, the savior, man. All right? Okay? You see all these, all these heathens walking about, even the heathens of Israel, man, because they cast it off as heathens, man. They walking about, they enjoying life, everything's good, they got the game, they proud. But guess what? They're about to be put into slavery, man. They're about to be destroyed, man. They're about to be conquered, man, by the how about you now with God, by way of the people. It says, therefore, prophesy and say unto them, thus saith the Lord. And if you know the one you call a uh, so-called black man, yeah, go to that. This is the Chesaree board. This is not the board. What did Jesus look like? Well, according to the scriptures, he's a so-called black man. He looks more like this. This is not him, but this is the bill for the picture. He looks more like this than he should like this. But they both have it, man. No. The devil is a so-called devil is a so-called white man. Of course and foremost. Alright? The devil's word devil just means deceiver. There's a there's a spirit of being Satan, and there's the devil, the deceiver. And that's what this is. This picture is a, a, a deception. Because the people in the science, you see yourself with that? Yeah. I'm, I can give it to you. No. Well, he, he looks scary. Oh, scared. But let me get this real quick. This, uh, in Revelation 1 and 13, it says, His head and his hair are white like wool, white as snow. Is his hair white as snow? No. Is his white like wool? And it also says, His eyes are like a flame of fire. Is his eyes like a flame of fire? No. Okay. And it's also said, His skin. I mean, his feet had a pillar of fine grass. Fine grass is like this ground. As it can burn in the fire. Now, is his feet burning in the fire? I mean, is his skin the color of fine grass? No. So this is, this is what the Lord looks like. And the Lord does say he looks like. Don't try to get me. They can't. I got to get you delivered. You're able to get me. What is it?
Okay, first of all, what I want to what, what I want to do in America that I'm not allowed to do is follow the laws of the commandments 100%. And I'm, I can't do that because we're in captivity. Uh, so what? You still say? Okay, yeah, because the Lord allowed me. What is it? What is it? What is it that you want to do in America? Okay, one thing, what, what is that I want to do in America? One thing that I'm not allowed to do, that I'm not allowed to do, is follow the Lord's commandments the best way I'm doing. And I'll tell you why I'm doing Wait a minute. Because we're going to be persons, I don't own anything. No, when I say own, it's his. I'm not talking about I got a piece of our own good paperwork. No, you gotta really own it. Okay? I wanna own land. I wanna have my I wanna have my own my government. Own Listen to me. Because because the land that you the land that you own, the truth and reality is no piece of it. Because if you don't pay the land tax on that, they can take it away. So you don't own it. You don't you don't hold a loyal title. So then the second thing is this, what I wanna do in America that I can't do that I'm not allowed to do is see this place destroyed, man. But most I gonna destroy it. According to the scriptures. For if for all the iniquity that we've done in the midst of Amos 9 and 8. Hey, you gotta understand this bro. Why you want to stay there? Because why, why wouldn't I? This is a place of our captivity. You're in captivity. I'm in captivity. Because, okay, you got a social security card? You got a purchase card? Those are, those, those are, I, 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 I know. See? I do everything else. Okay, but you, it's just nothing, there's nothing more. The whole earth right now is nothing more than an open air prison. Why is it an open air prison? Because we're, we're, we're in captivity. To the, to these people, these are the ones that own the birth certificate notes. These are the ones, and not just yours, even their own people. These people right. own okay. the world right now. But what I'm saying is, I can do what I want to do. Okay. But it ain't about doing what you want to do. That's the thing. It's See, about, See, it's about following the laws of the commandments of the most high. So, what I was reading out of Ezekiel, what I was reading about in Ezekiel, what I was reading about in Ezekiel, what I was I probably get the Lord, uh, the Lord wanted me to do, I think. Right now. If I, I'm not going to go to Iran right now. Why not? Why not? One, because this is not where the Lord put me in. Two, it's just not where the Lord, if the Lord wanted me in Iran, you want to camp in Iran, come and camp in Iran. Yep, I'll give, I'll, give, I'll give my 10% up to, to the uh, apostles and elders, and I hope the brotherhood out, I'll be right here. Because I don't want that money. All right, last question. Last question. It's round. And I, let me can I prove it? Can I prove it? Uh, this is uh, Isaiah.
Uh, Anthony Ezekiel, chapter 12, chapter 32, 30 slides. Ezekiel 37, and 12 again. Therefore, prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Power, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves. So the most high, where, whereas we're in this place and they didn't cause these people, these other nations, didn't allow us to be uh, put in our graves, the most high is raising us up out of our graves, man. Okay? I will raise you up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And put in our, he raised up out of these graves, okay, which is this dead state that we were in. He raised up out of that, put our skin back on us, our heritage, breathed the, the breath of life and truth in us, okay? Says, uh, yep, yep, the breath was the truth into us, and nothing. And we're standing on our, standing on our feet, and the Lord said, He's going to sit us in the land of Israel. And He says, And I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. So, both sides, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to bring us into the land of Israel. This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Isaiah 14 and 1. For Yahweh Bashim Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined unto them. But so the most high, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to set us in our own land, which is going to be in the land of Israel. Israel is going to be destroyed by nuclear missiles, but the, that place is going to be cleaned up. America is going to be wholly destroyed by nuclear missiles, okay? America is going to be wholly destroyed by nuclear missiles, okay? And it's not going to be rebuilt, but Israel is going to be wholly destroyed by nuclear missiles. But that place is going to be rebuilt, and we're going to dwell there, man. Okay? And for, for the Lord will have mercy, why? Because the most high, how about you know what I'm to have mercy on the state. Okay? And he said that his, his mercy rests with us, always, man. Okay? For the Lord, Yahweh you know, Shai, will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Those strangers that's going to be joined unto uh, the Israelites. It's, it's, it's the Israelite foreigners, man. Okay? This is Revelation 7 and 9. Revelation 7 and 9. Yep. After this I beheld and lo, a great multitude with no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the land clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. So those are all Israelite foreigners. Those are people of the other, that look like they are the other nations, but they act so to us, man. And they, they out here, they speak in Japanese, Chinese, some Polynesian language. They speak in African language. They speak in uh, 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 Arabic. They speak in French. They're speaking all these languages. Shit, English. Okay? They're speaking all these different languages, but they go back to us, man. And you see that right now. You got brothers in South Africa standing up, going out there preaching the word of your alibi, you know, shot. Okay? You got brothers in uh, 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 South, Af South Africa, Kenya. Okay? You got brothers all over the earth standing up from out of all these other nations. Because they thought at one point that they were part of these other nations. Just like at one point, we thought we were so-called Africans, man. We thought we were uh, Spaniards, man. We thought we, we, we didn't know who we were, man. But now we know that we're the Israelites, man. And the most signs that mercy is in the strength of the Lord. Because that's what we read. Let me go back to the Let me go back to the Revelation 7 and 9. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, which is uh, uh, it's not the actual wind that you feel in your face, but the wind's destruction, okay? The four winds of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having a seal of the living power, which is the name of Yahweh Shai, in that doctrine, okay? okay? That seal, that seal, that part, okay? Having a seal uh, of the living power, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to the whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the tree, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So 144,000 
men from the children of Israel. Those are men. How we know that? Let me get another scripture. This is Revelation chapter 21, verse uh, 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and he dwell, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the Most High himself shall be with them and be their power. So those 12,000 men from each tribe of Israel are the 12 tribes of Israel. Again, Revelation 7 and uh, 4. And I heard the number of them which are still, there were still 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel, 12,000 men out of each tribe of Israel, okay? That's the elect, 144,000. That's the elect, and then that's the elect of the elect, because they're within the elect. Then you have the rest of the one third of men, women, and children from the, uh, of Israelites that scattered amongst all these nations around the four corners. That's, that's, that's the rest of them, that's that mixed multitude. Those are the strangers that's gonna be joined unto Israel. Okay. Back in Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And we cleaving to the house of Jacob by way of his word, man. By way of his truth, man. Okay. Verse 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. In the land of the Yahweh, by the Yahweh God, the servants of Haman. So we're going to possess all these remnant of these nations left behind. Start chiefly with their elite. Because all these nations got an elite. Okay? All these nations got elite families. We're going to have all of them and the rest of the, the residue of those people. And we're going to bring them to our land. And what are we going to do with them? And the, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, for servants and handmaids. So we're going to have these heathen nations, they're going to be our servants and handmaids, meaning female, male and female slaves, man. Okay? Meaning male and female slaves, man. All right? And they shall possess them uh, in, the, in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. So we're going to rule over our oppressors, man. All these human nations at one point in time, they had us in slavery, man. They had us in servitude, man. And so guess what? We're going to rule over them, man. And how are we going to do that? We're going to rule over them with the rod of iron, man. This is Psalm 2. Psalm 2. He's the king that's over Zion. And then he got King David underneath the helm. All right? But this is speaking of Yahweh Shai. Yet have I set my king upon the holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. Yahweh has said unto me, Thou art my son this day. Have I begotten thee? And that is in, this is Acts chapter 13, verse 33. Acts chapter 13, verse 33. And it says, The most I have fulfilled the same unto the unto the most I have fulfilled the same unto us, their children, and that he have raised up the house I have been, as it was also written in the second psalm, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. So the most I uh, have begotten Yahweh Shai as his son, man. So that's how we know that this is talking about Yahweh Shai. So reading on in Psalms 2 and um, Psalms 2 and 7, I will declare the decree Yahweh have said unto me, Thou art my son this day, have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee of thy ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. So we're going to have Yahweh Shai is going to receive the heathen. For his inheritance is so weak, because we're joint heirs. We're joint 
joint ends with your Howard Shot, man. Okay? So he said, ask for me, I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, man. Yeah, you, you see the mixed multitude of all these nations coming out, but those are just Israelites, man. They're going to have those same every nations that they were dwelling amongst, catching hell amongst, under the curse of the months. Guess what? They're going to have them same people in slavery in the kingdom, man. We're going to have them same people in slavery in the kingdom, man. Okay? Ask to me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them to pieces like the potter's clay. That's right. It says, Thou shalt, uh, um, you're going to rule over them with a rod of iron, man. And we're going to dash them to pieces as a, as a potter's lesson, uh, man. Yeah, like a potter's lesson, man. So back to the secret. Chapter 37, verse 12. Therefore, prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power, behold, O my people, I will open your grave and cause you to come up out of your grave and bring you into the, the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh, by I see I was shot, when I have opened your grave, O my people, and come out of your grave. That's how we know that Yahweh by see I And he's waking up the rest of the elect, man. And he's keeping us both. And he's giving us the strength to endure to the end. Lord willing, man. Okay? It says, and, you, and verse 14, you shall put my spirit. So I'll start 13 again. Ezekiel 13, I mean, 37 and 13. Ezekiel 37 and 13. And you shall know that I am the Lord, your help and your strength. When I have opened your grave, O oh my people, and brought you up out of your grave, and shall put my spirit in you. That's right, we got the spirit of Yahweh by Shinyahu Shai in us, man. Okay? This is the spirit of Yahweh by Shinyahu Shai. The spirit of truth, man. Okay? The spirit of you, and you shall live. And I shall place you in your own land, then shall you know that I, Yahweh, Bashinah was trying, spoken it, and performed it, saying, Yahweh Bashinah was trying. When we get our land, you're going to know it, man. You're going to know it, man. Because when we get that land back, there's going to be peace on the earth, man. Nobody's going to lift up. There ain't going to be no more wars, man. That's how you know that when people in Israel today, they ain't the Lord's people, man. They're not following the Lord's laws, laws, and commandments. They're not calling on the name of Yahweh Bashinah was trying. They blasting in the land, tearing it up. They are blasting the Lord's name. They're killing the Lord's people, okay? Keeping them scattered. And they got them to the fuck that way. Naphtali, the so-called Argentinian, the Chilean, that includes Brazil, 
I'm sorry, no, it doesn't. Uh, he got on that top, which is the, uh, the, uh, the so-called native Indians, the people going back to them, of, of the, uh, Arch uh, Argentina and Chile. And then you got Asher, which is the so-called Colombians, the Uruguayans, which include Brazil, man. And then you got the so-called Mexicans, which is, uh, which, then you got Issacar, or Yashashkar, which is the so-called Mexicans, man. These are the children of Israel, man. Okay? And we put that stick out there. Verse 17, and join them one to another. So they're joining one to another. Okay, it's, not, it's no longer separated, man. Okay? And join them one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thy hand. And that's right, they're one in our hand, man. This is, we, we show you that there's no more separate, there's no more uh, northern kingdom and southern kingdom. It's just the children of Yahshua Allah, the children of Israel, man. And they're one people, man. They're one, we're one nation, man. Because you so-called Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans and Seminole Indians, we're suffering together, man. In the ghettos and the El Barrios, on those reservations, man. Meanwhile, all our enemies are gloating, boasting themselves above us, magnifying themselves above us, man. But we're, we're, we're out here showing you that, hey, we're one nation, man. We're one nation, man. Okay? But right now, we're seeking to be elect of the nation of Israel, man. 12,000 men out of each tribe of Israel who we're speaking to, man. That's what we're speaking to, man. And the, the, the ones that are true believers, man. Even us in the same John, the four. Thank God. Chapter 4, verse, uh, I'm going to show you the point. Verse 23, but the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Okay? The Most High is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So the true worshipers of the high body of Yahweh Shai, we're out here. Man. Starting off with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Okay? We're out here, man. Alright? We're out here. Starting off with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the brothers on down. We're out here. Worshiping the Most High in truth and in spirit, man. Okay? We see the magnification of our Lord, and we out here magnifying that name, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. No matter what, man. No matter what. It's like okay? That's what we out here doing, man. Giving all, 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 always, man. You know? Back in, uh, Ezekiel 37 and 17, and join them one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thine hand. And when, and when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, What wilt thou not, uh, saying, Will thou not show us what thou meanest by these? Say unto them, Thus said Yahweh Shah, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is the, in the hand of Ephraim, now in the tribes of Israel and his fellows, and I will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and it shall be one in my hand. So whenever, whenever our people walk by and they look at this sign and they say, "Hey, man, I see myself on here," or "Hey, man, hey, what's this? What you mean by this sign right here?" We tell them, "Hey, this is the tribes of Israel, man. These are the twelve tribes of Israel, man. We're starting off with so-called Negroes and down to so-called Mexicans, and, and in between, so-called Puerto Ricans." That's what, man. You're the children of Israel, man. So called Native Americans, you're the children of Israel. That's your nationality. That's your heritage, man. Hey, this is the Lord's name, Yahweh. His son's name, Father, our Lord, Yahweh's son. Not God and Jesus, man. Okay? The salvation is coming unto us, man. Unto you. The salvation is coming unto you. That the time is now to repent. Okay? Because this is the time we're living in, man. We're living in a time of repentance, man. You know? And that's for everything, man. 
grow, growing up, because we're growing up again, man. We're growing up again. You, you might be like 30 something years old and you wake up to the truth that you're a newborn babe, man. So what's growing up in this truth? We gotta know that the key to this thing, one, faith, truth, honesty, or truth, honesty, truth, okay, faith, uh, diligence, okay? Uh, 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 if the belief is strengthen you, how about Chanel Rashad most importantly, man? You know? Because we in that time, man. The time is now. This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. So, look, we're growing up again. I'm just saying, we're newborn babes in this truth, man. And we got to preach that repentance, salvation, and hope for the the elected children of Israel, man. Whatever they may be, whatever they may look like, whatever they may sound like, if they are the Israelites and they are the elected of Most High, and we don't know the elect. We just preach the word and hope and faith and, and elect them is sealed, man. But we know that they are the children of Israel. Okay? And so, with, as it says, uh, remember the Lord, thy power in the days of thy youth. We're in our youth now, man. And we're remembering our power, man. We're coming back seeking him and repenting. And repenting, man. Let me get another scripture. Real quick, I'm going to hold Ecclesiastes 12. I'm going to go to the Set the uh, four, verse 20, 28. For as it were your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek Him ten times more. So it was our it was our mind to go off in, 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 in the wickedness, committing sin, iniquity upon iniquity upon iniquities, which is sin upon sin upon sin. Okay. Now us being returned to the Most High, Yahweh by Shemayim Shai, we gotta seek Him uh, ten times more, man. And repentance and being sorry and being humble, you know, and being humble. That's the thing, you know. Pride can't be, pride cannot play a motivator in this truth, man. This truth has no room for pride, man. And sometimes pride will jump on you, man, you know, and, and you'll, you'll, uh, uh, you'll think that you got, you get comfortable and complacent, and you'll think that. Hey man, that's not the end of all we are, man. We in this truth, we gotta be uh, cognizant that hey, we gotta constantly repent, man. Because we're always going off, man. Whether you're going off in your private life, your daily life, whatever, man. We're always breaking the law. So we gotta seek repentance, man. And that's what we out here doing. We're remembering our Lord going back into uh Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw not. That's right. We remember the days of the Lord. We remember our Creator in the days of our youth. The apostles and the elders, they grew old in the truth, man. You got young brothers that grew up in the that's growing, that grew up and growing up in the truth, man. That been in the truth longer than us, man. And so us being newborn babes, we have to remember that we gotta constantly seek forgiveness for our, 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 our wicked ways, man. Even the sins that we commit and the wicked, the things that we commit, while we in truth, we shouldn't be out here just outrightly being wicked if you call yourself in the truth. You gotta learn. And so, yo, you gotta repent for being sorrowful, man. Repent. The time is now, man. The Most High said he sent his son, Yahweh Shai, for, to give repentance to his people, Israel, man, and forgiveness of sins, man. So repentance is open for us. That's why we're supposed to constantly repent, man. You know? Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, before Jacob's trouble, before martial law, before the hard fight he took the force of mandate on people, before nuclear war, before the missiles are in the sky, man. Remember the Lord in the days of thy youth, because you got days out here that forget the Lord, man. You might be doing good, coaching, everything, everything that's working out for you, 
and then you forget the Lord, man. That's why the Lord said, give me neither bond nor mouth. It was Paul that said it, give me neither poverty nor riches, man. Lest I, uh, lest I, uh, and, and, and riches, um, um, but, um, but what is sufficient for the evil day thereof, man. Or lest when you give me, uh, 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 lest in my, um, me being, uh, um, I'm just going to paraphrase it, me being rich, I forget the Lord, man. Or me being poor, I, 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 I profane his name, man. Because if you, you got money, you ain't thinking about the Lord, man. That's why a nigga like Floyd Mayweather, Jay-Z, they not going to make it, man. Lil Wayne, they not going to make it, man. These niggas that, that, that's got wealthy from being wicked, they, they don't remember the Lord. They, they doing good. They just give lip service, man. But then you got, if you poor, you out there robbing and stealing, make, you profaning the Lord's name. So we just get a, we just get what's sufficient for us for the evil day there. And again, the most important thing is us coming back to the Lord. So we're remembering the Lord before those evil days go on. And we're telling our people through the spirit power Yahweh Bashi Nawa Shai to remember Yahweh Bashi Nawa Shai before the evil days go on. Okay. So it says before the evil days go on. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. And then you get a lot of old people when they like ten minutes off their dead bed, their death bed. They want to try to get right because I'm going to get right with the Lord. Uh, he, he takes that all the time. Oh, I got to get right with him. I got to get right with him. I got to get right with him. They always say that, man. You know? And then, and then, when something bad happens, that's when they want to check, check again, man. But you should be seeking the Lord before all that, man. Before you ain't got no pleasure in the days. When you all in the prep, you ain't got no pleasure in the days. You just waiting to die. Basically, you just waiting to die. You sick. Ailing, weak, lame, and he's just ready to die. So you're supposed to seek the Lord in the days of your youth when you still got strength. That's why the Lord is called uh, young men in this street, man. Then again, the apostles and the elders, they grew old in the street, man. I, you know what I'm saying? They were young men when they started this, man. When they started this mission, man. When, this ministry, man. Apostle Bahar was young. Uh, Apostle Bahar, uh, Apostle Ramla, Apostle Bahar. And this video of, of, of these. Uh, Bosses and elders as young men, big black beards, man. Young, ruddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, when you see them, they 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 they, they, they grown old and true, but as they grown old and true, hey, that spirit is still fresh, man. That's, that's renewed daily, man. Because we die daily, man. You know? While the sun or the light or the moon or the or the stars be not dark, nor the clouds be returned after the rain. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinding cease, the job cease, all the so, so called mighty men shall the forth, bitching up. Okay? Because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be dark, and the doors shall be shut in the street, when the sound of the gun is as well. That's right, when there's no more guns out here, that's when the that's when the Jake's gonna try to turn around. Oh man. Hey, when the when when the financial collapse happens, because what's going on there in Venezuela? Oh man, oh man, it's coming here to America. And it's gonna be even worse, man. You got them people, uh, Jake's down there in Venezuela, eating up the trash by the thousands, man. I bet they're trying to call on the Lord. You got them Jake's in Mexico getting crazy because of austere in Brazil because of austere measures. What you think gonna happen here in America, man? So you're supposed to seek the Lord before all that happens, man. Before you lose your jobs, there's no more jobs, there's no more nine to fives, there's no more uh, checks every other week, man, or every month, man. You're supposed to be seeking the Lord now, okay? Look at this, that devil proud, man. You got a head and a neck high, man. Hey, the Lord's gonna bring up that, them, that, them devils down, man. You know? Wandering the eye. Anyway, bring it on. Or the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird. And all the daughters of music shall be brought off. That's right, because music is trash right now. All the daughters of music is so it's, it's, it's gone, man. All, all the greats is gone, man. Now you got Beyonce, Rihanna, Bruno Mars. That, that shit is trash, man. All of that shit is garbage, man. Your rap is trash. It's not hip hop, it's rap. Even though hip hop is off too, man. You got a lot of niggas that was. Uh, perpetrating the fraud, but it was still a whole lot more ruler than the music today. They had some type of integrity or standard. Couldn't rap it if you ain't living. But 
Yeah, you can. It's, 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 everything is well. Yeah, the judgment of the Lord is coming down, man. All right? The judgment of Yahweh by Kimal Shah is coming down. So, hey, man, uh, we're going to close up. I'm going to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Kimal Shah. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great nose of the chief of words of the Lord. Shout out to my fellow Akim, Buck, and Brooklyn, and Globe. Lord willing, we'll be out here next week teaching the truth, man. Stay strong. Stay strong. Remember to be brotherly, man. Okay? Always seek forgiveness. First of Yahweh by Kimal Shah. If you do any brothers wrong, hey, uh, make up with that brother, man. Set it right, man. You know? Now I'm just speaking out of my own personal experience, you know. We got to stay strong out here, man. Keep pushing, man, no matter what. No matter what happens, man. You got to keep pushing. We almost out of here and stay strong. Shalom. Abba, Abba, Death to America, man.